Hey everyone, welcome back to Nintendo Prime. If you enjoy Nintendo news, discussion, debate, entertainment, obviously I would appreciate it if you would subscribe to the channel. We're on our road to 80,000 subscribers. We also have a new giveaway going on right now to kick off Prime Gaming Fest on June 9th. We're giving away two copies of Mario Strikers Battle League. Uh, link down in the description to enter. Uh, it's a viral sweep link and yeah, you know, good luck. We'll be announcing the winners literally at the very beginning of Prime Gaming Fest at 9 a.m. on June. 9th. Now, let's get into this video. This is a Q&A video. We did our first one uh, in years last last weekend, and we're back again. Uh, we have like 70 people who commented on our last one, so we're just going to go through a majority of these and uh, get right to it. So the first one comes from Warren B., and he said, Nate, people should be less aggressive against you with these giveaways. The work and time it takes to get sponsors and the many times using your own money should be understood. Not all your subscribers complain and are fully supportive of your channel and what you are trying to do with your spare time. That's why you have 77,800 77 subscribers. Keep up the good work. I love your content and a keen watcher. Yeah, this was more of a response to a, a, a question or a, a accusation made last week about my giveaways being fake. And, you know, it, people are going to say what they're going to say. It doesn't really matter how many I've, I've done and how many, how much stuff I've actually given away. There's always going to be people that doubt. Uh, and you know what? All I can do is say, hey, if you don't think they're real, then don't enter. I don't know. I don't know what else to tell you. Everyone else who's entering will uh, feel very thankful to have one less entry in the pile. Uh, next up, we have an actual question from Weird Tuber Journalism. It says, do you think it would be out of the question for Nintendo to incorporate the Steam team in the next Switch by chasing the next or by basing the next Switch around the Steam Deck, or as he calls it, the Steam Machine? It's weird to call it a Steam Machine, considering that Steam actually had a whole line of products called Steam Machines that failed. That being said, uh, I don't think Nintendo is going to base anything around what the Steam Deck is doing. I don't think they're going with AMD in general. I think they still have a contract with NVIDIA. They're still going to move forward with NVIDIA. So it's not going to be based around what the Steam Deck does anyways. I also don't think Nintendo cares about the Steam Deck. I, I feel like this is a conversation that isn't being had enough because some people have Steam Deck and they go, why isn't Nintendo doing this? Why isn't Nintendo doing that? And the, the response is... Because Nintendo's not a PC. They're not building a PC. They're building a handheld. You're, you're taking PC components, slapping them in a handheld. That is what Steam Deck did, and that's totally fine. Nintendo's not going that route. Nintendo is making mobile hardware. So I honestly think that they don't care what the hell Steam is doing. They can't get enough of these units out to be right, readily available. Anyways, Nintendo's just going to worry about what they have going on. And uh, what they have going on is to the tune of outselling the PlayStation 4. So I think Nintendo's doing just fine. Uh, I'm going to patiently wait and see what their plans are for their next generation platform. I just hope it's still portable. Like, I, I, I do I do worry they're going to go away from the hybrid concept because Nintendo likes to change the game when the game doesn't need to be changed. And right now, it definitely feels like the game doesn't need to be changed. But we'll see what Nintendo does. Thomas asks, how is your knee doing? <laughs> uh, it's okay. Uh... Long story short, I, I had a knee injury playing football when I was a kid. A patella injury. I've had it my whole life. Um, I, the only reason I haven't gotten surgery on it yet is they're not quite sure which surgery will fix it. And some of the surgery options will make it so I can never run again. Uh, and now that I have children and all that, I still like to play pickup games of basketball here and there. I really don't want to lose my ability to run until I absolutely need to. Uh, so it, it flared up again um, really over Easter and it, it really hasn't bounced back fully, but uh, it is getting a little bit better every day. The reason it's taking so long is because I'm not listening. I'm supposed to stay off it, like literally just pretend I'm a cripple <laughs> for like a few days. And I have a hard time doing that because, again, I'm a parent. I got I got other things going on. I can't just not be on my feet. So uh, it's still getting better, it's just taking longer than it needs to. But I would say you guys don't need to worry about it. Everything's fine. Uh, Charles Trudell says, great quote right here, and he's quoting something I, I said in my last video, maybe the human form is just beautiful. Uh, and this was this dealt with like Xenoblade Chronicles complaints. And it says, uh, he says, I mean, yeah, like, can we be a bit more proud of ourselves? And, and that's the thing, like, 
this is talking obviously about sexism and gaming and I'm not going to sit here and pretend that there's not some overly sexualized stuff and some things done in a way just to um, pander to the animalistic sides of all of our brains but I do think that uh, sometimes it's a bit overblown because we're trying to make it where it's not okay to enjoy the beauty of the human form uh, and, and I think that that's wrong I, I think we should be allowed to enjoy the beauty of the human form whether it's male or or female I, I don't really think we we should feel ashamed of that especially when we're talking about virtualized characters uh that they, they're not real guys like they're they're, they're not going to be offended they're, they're not real these characters don't exist they don't have opinions so i don't know People are going to think what they want to think. Zelda Shiko Warrior 94 asks, You say Demise was revealed for Breath of the Wild 2. <laughs> I didn't say that, but... Um, so you think that's not Ganondorf like most other Zelda tubers? I didn't say that either. Uh, what I said is I theorized that Demise was the baddie back when the game was revealed. I didn't say that he was necessarily revealed. At first, I did think that character might be Demise because just because of the long flowing hair. But then the more and more I look at it, it probably is um, Ganon because Demise was sealed away inside the Master Sword. So, uh, But then the Master Sword's now in shambles uh i definitely think fee is back so i i think there's a good chance demise is back and yeah i did call it back in 2019 uh it doesn't mean that i don't think ganondorf isn't in the game i think ganondorf is in the game i just think demise is as well and i've thought that long before most other people did uh the nerd Aaron says so making the playstation 2 a handheld to the PSP is good enough to be next gen, and even the Super Nintendo to the Game Boy Advance is. But taking a system that's more powerful than the Wii U, PS3, and 360 and putting it in a handheld that merely upscales for TVs is not bull. Do you agree? Next generation is about power, is just an excuse to put down Nintendo. I don't agree that next generation is about power, is just an excuse to put down Nintendo, because if that was the case, uh, why is Nintendo's platforms more powerful every single generation? At the time the Nintendo Switch came out in 2017, it was the most powerful gaming handheld in the world. Fact. People forget that because it's now almost five and a half years old. Okay, well, yeah, it, it, it's been five and a half years. I hope something more powerful than the Switch has come out. That, that, that would be asinine to think that nothing more powerful than the Switch has come out in the last five and a half years. But at the time it came out, it was the most powerful thing in its field. Like, people forget that. So, ah, next generation is about power, but it's not only about power, I think is the best way to put it. And I think people just wanting to put down Nintendo just want to put down Nintendo. It's console wars console wars that's all it, it, it's wanting to push this narrative that it's a kiddie console even though more adults play switch than children it is what it is you know life moves on uh the yanster says prime question aside from game boy and game boy advance games potentially coming to nintendo switch online what do you think of the potential of seeing other consoles like the turbo graph 16 or the sega master system being added why not why stop there why can't we get the dreamcast why can't we get I mean, heck, I would love if Nintendo could work something out with PlayStation. It's not going to happen. I would love to get PS1 on here. But if, if we can't do that, then how about um, going further, get the Atari and all the Atari stuff on here? I, I really see no reason, unless these companies just don't want to work with Nintendo, that it can't be done. And obviously, Nintendo's got to be willing to spend the money because you know, clearly they got to give these companies money to get their games and their platforms on Switch. And if they're willing to do it with Genesis, I, I see no reason that they wouldn't be willing to do it with all the other Sega systems. Heck, get some Game Gear stuff on here. Why? Why not so i again it's early we'll see i don't think genesis is the last third party system we'll see added to nso i also think nso is going to be going for an entirely second console generation so we got at least another 10 years of nso uh so yeah, the, yeah. they're gonna add more uh pastor yonate says prime question how are you liking the online aspect of nintendo switch sports so confession i haven't played nintendo switch sports yet i do have it Thank you so much, Mike Perez, uh, Nintendo Academy. He had an extra copy, so he decided to give that copy to me. Uh, so I do have the game, but I haven't even turned it on yet. I've just been too busy. I probably will turn it on at some point today. Uh, so I, I can't really comment too much on the online aspect. I've heard some good things and some bad things, so I don't know. Uh, for now, uh, I'll just say this. I'm excited to try. 
and uh, it will be part of our Prime Gaming Fest next month, so I really should probably get to play it so I don't lose to Eric or lose to you guys and end up having to give away or punish myself more than I really want to. But you know what? That's part of the game, isn't it? Uh, T. T. Firmbach says, I know we're all expecting a Switch 2, but Nintendo is so weird. It might actually be possible they just abandon the Switch concept in the future. What do you think about that? Yeah, they could. Nintendo likes to do their own thing. Uh, I don't think they're going to abandon it, but again, Nintendo will do what Nintendo wants to do. If they think the future isn't that, then they are going to attempt to do something else. Uh, I've talked I've talked before that, as jokingly, maybe Nintendo will, I don't know, uh, release a, a stick that's like a Fire TV, and now we're just streaming games. Why? Because that's what Nintendo thinks the future is. So again, I don't think they're going to abandon it, but it's not out of the realm of possibility. Nintendo's going to do what Nintendo wants to do. Uh, Unscribbled says, prime question, do you think there will be a Tamadachi Life 2? That's a tough one. I don't think there will be. I, I think the concept was really, really novel, and there was a reason why they just re-released it, because I, I just don't think they think there's enough interest to do it again. I would like to feel like there would be, but again, it's just, I, I, I honestly don't feel like there's going to be. I'm sorry, man. Uh, then again, I don't work at Nintendo, so I don't know what I'm apologizing for. It's not up to me. <laughs> uh, Manuel Arroyo says, what if the next Nintendo Switch has a SIM card slot? I don't think they'll do that because that requires that they work with phone carriers, and we saw that didn't go really well for the Vita. I, I don't see the Nintendo thinking that that's a smart way to go in the future either, uh, having to pay a subscription fan to Verizon or AT&T or something like that. Uh, I just don't think it's going to have a huge interest. So personally, I don't see them going that route. I understand the reason you have online everywhere, right? But let's be honest, even even hitting 5G is really spotty, and 4G LTE has issues with online gaming, so I, I just don't think that that's going to be a positive for the next platform. Um, Corey Bohm, and this might be the final question we got here, says, here's a prime question. When is the prime rebrand happening with the winky face? Uh, I talked in the past about rebranding the channel. I don't know if it's ever going to happen. It's more of a legal thing. I got to register as an LLC eventually, and I can't really use the Nintendo branding in that. However, I don't have to register the exact uh, channel as that. Or I, I, can, I can create something like Prime Media, uh, I can call it Prime Media, and that's what I register. And then Nintendo Prime, the YouTube channel, could be under the umbrella of Prime Media, which might be something I do uh, instead of rebranding the channel because I have other channels to consider as well, such as the Nintendo Prime podcast channel. That's now got to be under the umbrella as well, especially if that ever uh, makes money. I don't know if it ever will, but if we get 4,000 watch hours, I could turn ads on and make a few pennies. Uh, and then, you know, I also am spinning up a sports channel. Uh, called Prime Informer. So, like, getting all that under one umbrella would be nice. So, I'm not sure if I'm going to end up rebranding, uh, but, hey, it's an option if I need to. Anyways, folks, thank you so much for tuning in to Nintendo Prime. Uh, we didn't have as many questions this time around as last time, but that's okay. Remember, if you have any questions that you want me to answer next weekend, all you have to do is drop them down in the comments below. We are getting ever closer to Prime Gaming Fest. Be sure to go enter our giveaway down below as well. This has really, really been a great experience, and I am proud to announce that tomorrow... Oh, oh, tomorrow, we are bringing back, wait for it, wait for it, I'm too excited, I'm, I'm way too excited, Prime News, everybody, remember everyone, check out Prime News tomorrow, my goal, I, I don't want to fully commit, my goal is to have Prime News out by 10 a.m. every day, and that's going to be very, very difficult for me to pull off. But that's my goal, to have prime news using our other set uh, out by 10 a.m. every day. We'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, that doesn't mean there won't be other videos throughout the day. Uh, I am debating on taking rumors and just always treating rumors as their own video and keep the prime news just about actual uh, news and leaks. But we'll see what happens. I, you know, I don't really know what's going to happen. I'm just going to go with the damn flow around here. Anyways, folks, I will catch you guys in... The next video might be later today, might be tomorrow, might be next week. I have no idea.